Are you fired up? Yes. Are you ready to go? Yes. Oh God, today, man, the Democratic primary is going to get over. Let's get fired up. <laughs> Enough of four months of this uh, politics, man. I'm sick of watching MSNBC, Fox News. Now let's get some real competition up. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Who blew my slides? Uh, you know what? The most difficult presentation to make is after lunch. You know, you guys are full, you're coming here, and it's, you know, I gotta, I gotta work very, very hard to keep you awake. I'll do my best, okay? Just work with me on this, can you? Yeah. Good. Uh, before I start, how many of you guys watched the Indiana Jones movie? Raise your hand. You know what? In the climax, what's up with the aliens? What's wrong with George Lucas and Spielberg? Indiana Jones and aliens? You know what? It doesn't gel, man. I don't get it. Uh, you know, the next sequel should be is um, Indiana Jones in Star Wars. Yes. That would be really good, yeah. I, I don't get it. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it wrong. All right. Are you ready to talk security? Okay. Let's talk and roll. What I'm going to do today is, guys, um, I'm going to talk about corporate espionage by insiders. And this is a serious threat which is completely overlooked and ignored. So I'm going to scare the hell out of you, okay? All right, let's go. Take a look at this. A Chinese trainee goes on trial as French industry PSC espionage. Here is a lady. She goes to a French company as a trainee. You know what? Show me the technologies. Train me on the concepts. And she sits there for three and she learns every single secret about the company, copies to a DVD, walks out. You're from China. The threat is real. And of course, she's convicted. A Chinese trainee will go on trial in France today, charged with pir uh, pirating. Watch this, guys. Pirating her employer's computer system. She goes inside, inserts a USB stick, presses a button. The entire data is uh, uh, moved to the USB stick. And she walks away free. Imagine if an employee, a trainee employee, knocks on your door and says, you know what, educate me on your technologies, and you open the door, you're opening a Pandora box. This is real. You can ignore it. Take a look at this. Huh. Yeah, McCain would love to have a go at him. <laughs> it's uh, corporate espionage is a largely underreported problem in the United States and Europe, and your company doesn't have to be a defense contractor to be a target. My company is not a multinational organization. I'm not big enough. I'm a small organization. Nobody's interested in my company's secrets. They don't have to be. Okay? All, they do, all they need to do is get into your machine, get into your system, get into your net, net, uh, network, steal your customer's data, not for personal use, and there are buyers out there willing to buy it. They're willing to pay even you know, fifteen to $20,000. How do I know that? Go to the Russian underground website. This is what we do in CH. We visit the Chinese websites, we, we talk to those underground hackers, and our job, you know, I, I remember when he started CH, uh, when I designed it um, version 1, we had about 100 tools. Then, you know, we went to version 2, version 3, version 4, and version 6, we have about uh, 10 gigabyte of hacking tools. Oh my God, those are deadly tools, deadly viruses, deadly trojans, and um, deadly steganographic stuff. We don't talk about security. We teach, we give you, we spoon feed you with the live viruses. The only way to master security is you play with it. And you mess around your network. You compromise your machine, of course, in a virtual environment. You know, trust me on that, not in your real, in your real company. And the only difference is to become a hacker yourself. And look at the threat here. Hackers, corporate spies, and disgruntled employees steal data every day. In many cases, these are crimes of opportunity. Yes, they are knocking on your door uh, without you knowing about it. We call them invisible hackers. You can't see them. Where the hell are they? Hey, you know what? Here is the alien from Mars. I can't see it. That is the hacker. Those are the hackers you better be scared of. You don't know when they came, what time they came in, how they hacked, what data they stole, and you're lost completely. And you know what? Is it difficult to do it? I don't think so. You get me the CH CD ROM, your network is toast. I don't give a damn thing about your firewalls or IDS, your network perimeters you have. 
You know why? 1 plus 1 is not equal to 2. That's in your world. In the hacker's world, 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. You prove me. Haja, you're wrong. I'll tell you what. You and me will start a company. Think outside the box. Okay? Now, national threat espionage is real. Every company uh, should take this issue seriously. Take a look at this. How many of you guys know about this? Oracle and SAP uh, espionage issue? Anybody? Raise your hand. You, sir. Oracle versus SAP. Oh my God. You're talking about big boys playing the game of spying. I'll, I'll elaborate the case. What happened? Uh, SAP had a division called Tomorrow Now. What they tried to do is they go after Oracle customers and says, you know what, you have a contract with Oracle. No problem. Five years. I'm not going to touch you. You don't have to migrate to SAP. But when the contract expires, you come to me. You send the contract with me. So what SAP did? They took user ID and password of an Oracle customer. They logged onto Oracle portal. They downloaded every single white paper, patches, uh, or what we call future business products, future business plans, updates. Mistake they made. They sat in a world, SAP desktop, SAP IP address, SAP network, and downloaded the materials. If you're going to steal, you better proxy chain it. You, you, send, you send your packets to China, Australia, London, Iran. I don't care. And these guys are sitting in SAP and downloading all the information. Take a look at this. Of course, Oracle filed a lawsuit. And um, they, uh, see, they haven't entered in a settlement. This is a high case. <laughs> You're going to love this, man. Our domestic spying program has yielded results. We found weapons of mass destruction belonging to Vice President Dick Cheney. You know, next hacker halted, I got to call guys from Halliburton to make a presentation. <laughs> He's going to be good. Now, we're going to talk about copy espionage. We're going to talk about um, information they seek, different categories of threat, and driving force behind inside attacks. And uh, I'm going to expose um, some of the tools, deadly tools of, uh, in which you can use uh, in copy espionage. Okay? It's very simple. All you have to do is uh, you know, configure email address, go to machine, you plant it automatically, the secrets in that particular machine with um, uh, the keywords that you're looking for, like passwords, credit cards, will be automatically emailed to you. Okay? I'll show a demonstration on that. Now, here we go. What is the definition of espionage? It is the illegal means of gathering information. 